Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. So, I put in another pretty close to 68 hours this last week. Yesterday I got home from work and I was pretty much burnt. I did nothing. It's pretty difficult. You got so many things to do. Rocking Sea Homestead said something similar to that. How do you get it all done? Well, you don't. On a homestead, even though I'm in the city, as you take a look around, <laughs> I am in the city. So, I'm doing the best I can with what I have. I will have those updates soon. Forget the, the batteries. I want you all to get to know Jeff, Southern Ohio DIY Solar Power. He just got a lithium battery in. He's got to figure it out. It's not like what most people have. JW Solar USA doesn't have that kind. He's got like three kinds of lithium batteries. JW Solar is awesome. So he couldn't help out with Jeff on that. But uh, I think it's, uh, if I get this right, Bobby's DIY Solar had, had the answers for him. So that's pretty amazing. One solar brother helping another, one homesteader helping another, what have you. But uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing good. Nothing can slow me down, except for yesterday. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing amazing on the new position at work. I'm doing much better. There's a lot of things involved. There's so many different departments I have to supply uh, parts to. But yeah, soon we're going to get all this over. That's really, everything on this side of the sidewalk is not my property. But since I keep it mowed and what have you, uh, I get to use it for solar. So, Jeff offered me some batteries. So, once it gets the lithium batteries figured out, I will be going to South Ohio. And uh, I will share some 4 out cables because I don't take freebies, but yeah, I will barter the chickens before I go on this little road trip today. I have to go see some family members. They just got the leftover salad that I'm not going to eat. They got blueberries. They got green beans. So I'm going to take care of them. I'm always trying to concentrate the chickens under the shade. So I always got to try to Think about what I'm going to do. I want to get them over here, which will have to stretch it this way. i got to move the coop today. It's getting a little... I think they picked all the green out of there. So I might move it just a little bit before I go on a road trip. But tonight, or tomorrow, i got to concentrate to this fresh grass area. And if they start moving the bark, and what have you, if I move a couple of these stumps, that they'll have worms and what have you under there and bugs that they, they, they desperately need to get to. Free food, right? So, eventually, the garden is growing. It is getting wider all the way around. I did think about brainstorming, watching everybody else's gardening videos, homesteaders. I might just run some strings from the gutters to fill that wall. I got another container, probably twice this size at work. I don't know if I'm going to bring that home. I get one a week. It's got wire in it. So, so as we make cables, I run the wire out and I have that option. It's my station at work. So I might make another compost bin just to get all, all those sticks into it for now. The solar furnace back here, I want to hook the solar furnace up. I might get a heat duct and a large heat duct and run a flex tube to that and see how it works for a dehydrator. That's so many things. I don't even have, I have two water barrels right here. You can't use the metal one. And I have a third one in the van that's been there for a month or two. I got to get those hooked up. I still haven't been out on the water yet, but 
I did give the chicken something to play on. One day at a time. <laughs> One step at a time. <laughs> Overtime's kicking in so good that soon I will have a gas powered weed eater where you can't lose the battery. <laughs> and I'll have a chainsaw, a gas powered chainsaw. And one step at a time, right? I feel much better today. Yesterday I was desperately burnt out. But, uh, keep on pushing on, pushing on. But I gotta keep the birds in the shade at all times. So, when they was cutting down these ten trees from here to over there, they didn't want to cut this tree down here. And I'm, I'm so happy they didn't want to because it helps to keep shade on the garage and shade on the birds. And on days that we don't have any clouds at all, it helps keep the moisture in the wood chips. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta water before I go on this road trip today. All right, that's it for now. I had to give you an update because I can't always come out here and video all the time. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of time to get work done so I can shoot a video of <laughs> what's going on. 72 containers going to get filled up with dirt before I leave. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get seeds in that, but the, the, the peas and the green beans, the wax beans, and the whatever it is, the purple beans, they're going to be uh, planted soon soon and if you don't know about the agriculture lying so it's not working out all the growing areas along the west got flooded out from the snow melting and now we got all this rain and uh, uh, when I go down to Ohio to see Jeff then we will see what happens down there we're gonna get all the, the moisture that, that that hurricane is gonna come all the way up here to Michigan so Indiana Ohio uh, Illinois, good luck with your flooding area, your floodplains. Uh, we're having a shortage on peas and a whole bunch of other things in America. So you got to grow your own. Start getting your own. Uh, uh, I'm go. Uh, I'm an eBay kid, so I will be going to eBay and getting probably I want a I want a gallon of uh, uh, seeds, organic seeds. So. I can grow my own if you can't find it. Walmart and several other stores are having shortages on canned vegetables because you have to grow your own. Welcome to the Grand Solar Minimum. And uh, I'm going to sign out right here. And uh, have a beautiful, sunshiny day on the homestead. <laughs>